Yesterday, someone placed an envelope in my bag. The words on the envelope read, Why, Mom? The letter has touched my heart in a very special way, so I decided to share it with you guys today. So today, we are going to correct every sentence in each paragraph. Are you up for it? Let's begin! Okay guys, I have separated the paragraphs into three different sections. What we are going to do, we are going to read the paragraphs together. Dear Mom, I miss you. When are you coming back for me? I hate living here. I clean the house and wash the dishes. I wash and iron my cousin's clothes. I even clean their shoes. Mom, I'm tired. I hardly goes to school. Yet when I do, I don't get no money. Sometimes I goes to bed hungry. Now guys, let us look at each sentence. Sentence number one. Dear mom, I miss you. Guys, you need to identify and correct all the errors in sentence number one. Remember guys, you have seven seconds and it starts now. Did you identify the error? Let me reveal the errors in, section, in sentence number one. There, T-H-E-R-E. -E. It should be D-E-A-R. And remember, D-E-A-R is saying, my beloved mom, I miss you. And if, and if you look, you realize that the letter I is capitalized because whenever you use the letter I by itself, it should be capitalized. The word miss was spelt incorrectly. Let's move on to question sentence number two. Guys, correct the errors. Se seven seconds starts now. Okay, I'm going to reveal the errors to you and I hope you have yours written down. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four errors and let us look at how we correct them. So when is spelled incorrectly and of course G was missing from the word coming back. And remember guys, you are not sending a text message to your friends. So whenever you're writing an essay, please spell out the entire word. For example, the numeral four should not be in your essay. So please spell out the word and it is F-O-R. Let's move on to sentence number three. Guys, you have seven seconds to correct the errors. Oh yes, I'm loving this game already and I'm so excited about it. Guys, did you find the errors in sentence number three? Let me reveal them to you. I ate living. And remember guys that I should be capitalized. It should be H-A-T-E. And remember living contains a G. Now guys, how well did you do? Don't be too hard on yourself because you have more sentences to correct. Let's move on to sentence number four. I clean the house and wash the dishes. Correct the errors. Let me reveal the errors to you right now. They are clean house and dish. Clean should be C-L-E-A-N. House should be H-O-U-S-E. And of course, if you want to say this is spelled correctly, yes, but remember it should be pluralized. So I clean the house and wash the dishes. Let's move on to sentence number five. 
Guys, you have seven seconds. I wash and iron my cousin's clothes. Guys, what are the errors? Yes, we have three errors. Let's look at them. So, iron is I-R-O-N, cousins. And remember, guys, some words in English, you just have to know how they are spelled. Right? For example, cousin should be C-O-U-S-I-N-S. And clothes should be C-L-O-T-H-E-S. Let's move on to the next sentence. Guys, seven seconds starts now. I even clean their shoes. What is the error? Yes, clean and there. So clean should be C-L-E-A-N and there should be T-H-E-I-R. Remember guys that we are talking about people. So it should be T-H-E-I-R. Next quest, next sentence. Mom, I'm tired. Now, what is the error? Did you find any error in this sentence? Of course, we have two. And you may say, am um, is not an error. But you need to remember, guys, that you're not talking to someone face to face. We're writing a letter. So whenever you're writing the letter, you need to spell out your contraction. So it should be, I am. And remember, there should be a comma. After the word mom, let's move on to sentence number eight. Guys, you have seven seconds. Oh, yes. Sentence number eight says, I hardly go to school. Yeah, when I do, I don't get no money. Guys, you need to take a closer look at this sentence because it is a compound complex sentence. And look closely, you will see that you have two independent clauses and one dependent clause. So let's find the errors. Okay, so there you go. I hardly goes. It should be I hardly go. So I hardly go to school. And if you look, we have the coordinating conjunction yet. But why did we put but? If you look, we are introducing a contrast. So I hardly go to school, but when I do. And of course, there should be a comma right after do. But when I do. I do not get any money. Guys, don't and no are two negative words. You do not use two negative words in a sentence. And of course, you need to spell out your contraction. So it is, I do not get any money. Let's move to the final sentence. Remember guys, you have seven seconds to find all the errors in this sentence. Sometimes I go to bed hungry. What are the errors? Okay, so we have two errors, goes and hungry. And remember, it should be go. I go to bed, H-U-N-G-R-Y. Guys, how well did you do? Did you get all sentences correct? Tell me in the comments. Did you like this video? Then share it with your friends. Leave a like. And of course, you need to subscribe. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. It is right on your screen.